We'll do it in a few minutes. Hey, hop along. You want to do the camera? Right. Stu here is going to be the blog. You can be a beater when you start doing anything. You just sit down and you, you and that Sherrod can just permanently beat. He won't get his heart laid up that way. He won't hurt yourself. Don't let Stu touch you. you got to stay inside the green line. Stu's going to call out blob tag. Stu says blob tag, he can tag one of you guys. If you're caught, you're part of this blob, you got to hold his clean hand. Get somebody else. Y'all ready? Call up when you're ready, Stu. <coughs> Ball tag. Go, 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 go! I right, it. You can shoot me someone else and then I'll uh, get him. Sure, I'm coming out of the surprise part of the blob, too. Hurry up, get back up the line. Back up the line, we're going the other way now. Come on, Sharon. I got all these hands, guys. I know y'all are cool with each other. Call up when you're ready, Stuart. Go over here. Put it on Ball tag. Talk to you about your lesson plan ne uh, for next class, Alonzo. Yeah. Before you All right, leave guys, today. Me. Hey, Sherrod! You ate your Wheaties, buddy? <laughs> you don't like Wheaties? You like fruit? You ate fruit this morning? You didn't eat fruit this morning. All right, one part of the group, pick your rope up, guys. Alonzo! Oh, I'm sorry. Claire needs you. She needs your partner. So one person in the group, pick up your rope. The other part is step to the side. Get two big steps away from them. I want y'all just to practice do five jumps. So we get warmed up. One, two, three, four, five. After you get five, you get over two parts. Let your partner get five jumps in the warm up. Get, get used to the rope again. Try it on the wrong way. You need to your feet. Fruit loop, buddy. You gotta start eating weedies. No more fruit loop. What you said you ate fruit loop? Whatever you made is working, buddy. <laughs> All right, guys. Now we're going to do jump ropes with our partner. So first, I'm going to have the rope. And we're going to be front to back. Step, we're going to have to turn the other way. And you got to get kind of close. Because I'm going to spin the rope forward, and we're going to try and jump at the same time. So let's try it. Ready? Yeah. Oh, you need a long one. Yeah. So go for it. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I'll 
Can you look like you're really big? Because everybody else has to And if you go a couple of days, you can just go back and get the money. Yeah, you can. We're just talking about a couple of things. Because that way you'll pay attention more. To what's going on. Make sure I can't go here. Make sure I can't be ab not absent in the class. Jump in. Go get your jump rope and jump in. Oh, my battery's about to die. So now, that's great, my little one. All right, everybody, hold your own for a second. I see. So now what we're going to do is the person that's in the front is going to hold the rope, and the person in the back is going to not have it. What you want to do is in the back, in the back. Okay, that's appropriate. You're going to have to be a part of the show, so I'll take one together. And if you don't, you might start jumping backwards, you might start jumping too close. So me and Jesse are going to try and show you our rope. Oh, you're flipping it back. Sorry. Alright. <laughs> Alright, guys. So let's try that. If you're in the back, put your hands on your party shoulders. Don't give them a neck and stop. Go for it. Give it a shot. Give it a There you go. Does it hurt to stand up? It's probably better that I just did it. Maybe next week could be better. Okay. Oh, that was close. Oh, that was close. Oh, that was close. Did you hit him in the head? What's going on today? That's our first party person. We started class with half this week. Mm -hmm. Alright guys, back to your partners, grab your own again. Now we're going to do, like they were doing earlier, we're going to face your partner again and you're going to start doing some tricks. So first try maybe a quarter turn, maybe a half turn, if you're good enough, you can try and spin all the way around. So, Rick, you need some ice. Would you go sit down? I think it's going to take you a while to. Dylan, I need you now. Yeah, Rick, are you okay? Going to be okay, buddy? We'll see in a few minutes if he's okay or not. Yeah, okay, now we're going to do some tricks. Okay, now we're going to do some tricks. Okay, now we're going to do some tricks. That's better. Do not break your partner. Don't break your partner. I hate to tell you, but you should Okay. Pupils look good. Did, did you lose the little thing go black? No, it's just, just you're the way you stand up. Better you got better. Better you can go over here and pop the side. Look at the name of your trunk. We got it. Yes, they got it. They got it. One partner's going to have one handle, the other part's going to have the other handle. 
So one's going to be in your left hand, one's going to be in your right hand. So now you can, you can try and spin the rope in front of you. So one's going to be going forward over me. We're going to try and spin this way. So we're going to demonstrate. We're giving it a try. We're going to spin it clockwise. Well, counterclockwise to you. OK, ready? Set, go. Look at that skill. All right. That was a lot more than I thought we did. So now you guys give it a try. Back to back to the hands are going to be on the same side as your other partner. There you go. Try and, try and count together. There you go. Yeah. Good job. Good work. Good work. Oh, no, no. I thought he was okay. Oh, he's good. It's just the back of his head, not his chest, it's the front of his head. It's almost a long piece going up for it. Well, when they switch to the next activity, maybe we can yell when he's looked back at you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, Side ready? Jump in the other your alarm keeps going off. Go turn off your alarm. Yes. Ready, go. Give it a try. Ah! Come on, Yes, they do like look like little kids now. See, he gets into the elementary thing. Awesome. A lot of positive feedback. Go come down, sit down here. So you're not like totally out of it. So one partner's on the mat, one partner's kind of on the side right here. Get right here front. Put your back in the wall. Let's go, guys. Bottoms up, okay, everybody. So we got fingers forward, and you're gonna make a tri triangle with your head. With your head, so it's gotta go in front of your hand. The partners might Turn check on, that no. they're actually one, making a triangle. Two, three. Uh, no, 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 no. Look at those tripods. You guys are awesome. Best third graders I've ever seen. Dylan, spread your hands out, buddy. Spread your hands out a little bit wider. Right, right. With, right. With your hands and head, my friend. Yeah. So, so hands are underneath the shoulders. Put your head forward, though. Come back down, come back down. Hold on one second. You were getting it, but I want to be safe. Elbows in. Yeah, elbows in. Here we go. Three seconds, come back down. Okay, so we're going to go same way. That's 
okay. As long as y'all got it, then we're good. So now we're gonna put our head on the floor again. And we're gonna try to walk our feet up. But then we're gonna try to pick our head up and try and hold that balance like a crawl. Like a crawl stand. So when your feet are coming up, then you're gonna pick your head up off the mat, and it's gonna look like this. Hold it for three seconds. So one person on the mat at a time. Your hands have to balance you. Look at Aunt Alonzo. Look at that. He can do it. Strong. We can show you. Some really strong burgers. So your knees are going to be on the outside. Exceptionally of so. Oh, we got one second. Ann got one second. Oh, good job, Dylan. There you go. Two seconds. She made two seconds. Come on, Sherrod. Elbows in. Elbows in. A lot of people can get two seconds. I don't know that it. Anybody's got th three seconds. Oh, Devin had it until he crashed. Roll on the shoulder. Everybody, give it a try. Everybody has it pretty good. Yeah? Okay. Now we're going to get a little more difficult stuff. So, for this one, I'm going to show you for I need just for two seconds. So what you're going to do now, guys, make that same triangle with our hands. No, where's our head doing? In the middle. No, not in the middle. Well, kind of. Forward up, though, right? Like a triangle. So your head's the top of the triangle. you got two hands right here to make the bottom. There you go. Dylan knows. So our head's going to go here. We're going to walk up again. Put our feet on top of our knees. Try and balance. And then we're going to try and pick our feet up like this, guys. And your partner is going to spot you. I'm coming down. And pull your feet up against the wall. Okay? So, and not let them fall over right. sideways. So now, one partner up against the wall. The other partner no running the into the other partners. Huh? Yeah. Not cool. Make sure you're against the wall. Triangles. Hey, put your hands on the floor, Alonzo. Thank you. You got this. I can't take my eyes off you guys for two seconds. No, they like to show off, don't they? Good job, Dylan. Dylan got it. Now come back down. Awesome. Good job, Ann. Ann's not even on the wall. Good. That's good. He, she was straight up and down. Okay, don't let him fall over. Oh, oh, oh. Are you okay? Did you slip? Are you okay? Don't let him fall over. Now we're gonna try. Now I need half the lump. So look, I need everybody from two on on this side of the mat facing this way, and then everyone from just on facing going the line facing this way. Now we're gonna try and do something a little harder, guys. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna go. We're gonna be very careful. That we're gonna have a couple spots. So just gonna spot me real quick. We're gonna do the same thing we just did on the wall, except when we come out of it, we're gonna do a forward roll. So when we do a forward roll, we're gonna tuck our chin. So this is a forward roll right here. And tuck your chin, make sure you roll on your back, just like that, okay? Uh, let us not do that. Let's not do, I mean, we can, let's do forward rolls, but let's not do handstands, headstands to forward rolls. That's what it gave me the teacher. I know, but let's, they're not, the skill level of this class is just not ready for that. Why? Well, yes, but no, I'm talking about you're, you really, you're looking at your skill level right now. Why would I be afraid to let you go from a headstand to a forward roll? All right, guys. So no, instead, no. we're just going to do three forward rolls. But every time you finish your forward roll, I want you to try and stand up on your feet. So you're going to do the, do the triangle with your hands again. Tuck your chin, roll, and every time try and come up to your feet. Right. And, uh, look, also they could do a frog stand to a forward roll. That would be perfectly fine. All right, guys. So instead of that, we're going to do a frog stand yeah. to a forward roll. Uh, but we're just going to do one, though. Do you understand why? If not, we'll, need, we'll talk about it at the end of class. Because you can't really spot So that frog stand we did, you're going to have feet up off the floor and your head, but then you're going to put your head on the floor, roll, come up to your feet. Okay. And I don't want your head to touch. I want the first thing to touch is your back. Right? We don't want your so head to touch. Yeah. Right? 
Everybody Look at your flat stomach. Uh -huh. All right, guys, so let's get in line. Make sure you keep your chin tucked on that phone roll. We're going to go one at a time. And you stand here so they don't run into each other. Okay. okay. Tuck that chin, Joe. Roll up, try and get up to your feet. Now that's Beautiful. a big third grader, huh? Oh. Very nice. Perfect. Okay. Uh, stop. Y'all are looking good. We have a problem here. Every time somebody teaches gymnastics, I have to correct people because y'all don't know what you're doing. It's not the teacher's fault. He's doing a great job. The reason I didn't want you to do a headstand and do a forward roll is some of you don't have enough strength to pick your head up off the ground, right? You don't have the upper body strength to get up and you can hurt somebody's neck. The neck's the only thing I worry about, right? Nothing, other things. But the frog stand, they're already on their elbows, so they tuck and they learn to go from that hand position to the roll. But when we do, when we do a skill that no one has ever done before, ever, the teacher needs to be close enough to spot that person the first time. So in that situation, you'd have to put them in one line and so you could stop them. I didn't do that because he had Jess over here spotting because you're real grown-up teachers, you know. But if, if it was really little kids, he'd have to spot each kid till they were sure they understand what they were doing. Then you could do what he did, right? Okay, go ahead and do your next progression. Oh, it's not, oh, switch, yes. All right, everybody run around right over there. Give me a good turn. 